Well, time's come again. Another hotel video. Um, it's on my phone this time, so it might be a little better. Hello, my name is Avery Maskey. And today to you, I want to talk to you about um, a few chapters, or rather a few scriptures I've been reading talking about um, peace and anxiety. Taking away the anxiety. Um, that's a huge problem that's facing us today. And the world is filled with an anxiety. The world always has this kind of wants to put you into this little box and has like a pre-planned pre for you, so to speak, right? You get older, you graduate high school, you go to college, and if you don't, you're a loser, right? That's what they tell you. After college, you take up all this debt, get married, pay your taxes, and die. That's it. You might get a few cool vacations here and there, but that's what the world prescribes to you. That's the, that's the modern American dream. Get in debt and die. So no wonder at this rate, we are experiencing a level of anxiety that we've never seen before. People weren't as anxious as they were 50, 60, 70 years ago. They didn't have the same anxiety as us. Not talk about social media and all these other things that we have to worry about. But Christ, what Christ says in this passage, what Christ says is, is, is trying to help us. And I'm going to read John 14, 26 and 27. Um, it talks about the Holy Spirit. And what he and how he works in us a little bit, and then I want to talk about what Jesus says about him and his inner peace. So John fourteen twenty six. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things, and bring to your remembrance of the things I have said to you. This is verse twenty seven. Peace I leave you with, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Wow. Think about what Christ is saying here. The same person that knew at this point that he was going to be crucified and he had to die a horrible death was calm. If we knew we were going to die a week from now, We'd be frantic. We'd be calling everybody. We'd be going around, all these things. But Jesus Christ was calm because he knew it was going to happen. And he, that same calmness, he's trying to give to us when we, when we give ourselves to him. We allow him into our lives and we start a better relationship. And to me, that's, that's a big thing. You know, man, I've been driving around the country and that's a common thing I keep seeing over and over again. One person I want to talk about is Scott Trotsky at One Crusades. Um, of Aberdeen, California. He's in Montana now on mission. But him, he's a great example. He's an evangelist. He's basically a missionary at this point. Claims no income. He gets donation base. And he doesn't have these like long, you know, th things. Like, like he doesn't, he, you know, all of his worries. Um, I'm going to post his interview soon. All of his worries he talks about. He's like, well, Christ stomps it down. You know, like, I don't have a house. Who wants to get a house, right? Or or in our own lives, we think about, like, oh, how am I going to pay these bills? How are these different things going to happen in my life? But you don't have to worry about that anymore. You can just let Christ guide you. Because Jesus Christ loves us. And he wants to guide us. He wants to have the peace. And I want you to, I want to invite you into, I want to invite you into this club of the peace and inner peace. But I want to read you another psalm that keeps popping up in my life a lot. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me, by, he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Beginning there, Psalm 23, verse 2. He makes me, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. And to me, that's the Christian walk. Even though 
I'm sitting at a table with my enemies, which says later in the passage, he makes me a feast. Even though we're, we, we go around, we're worried about all these different things in our life and you know who we're going to be, what's coming next. It doesn't matter because we know God wants us to come to his, to his to kind of a relationship with him, have communion with him. And he's going to lead us to these still pastures, the calm pastures to lie down in. He's going to make us because he wants us to be sound of mind, to be calm, to live a peaceful life. Now, things are going to happen. And I've met a lot of Christians throughout my walk who have had horrific events happen to them. But there's this inner calmness that they, that they show and they, they, they show to everybody. You know, I know a man right now who's suffering, who's been suffering with surgeries for a very long time. And I've, I've met a man, I've, I know a few people who, who people close to them have, have passed away. And just see the inner calmness in them. I mean, I, you know, I pray to get that to my faith when someone passes away close to me or, you know, these horrific situations that happen, that are going to happen, that I stay this inner calmness. And it never says that bad things aren't going to happen or the world isn't going to, whatever. It just says you will have calmness. For you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. When we're sitting there, with the people who are persecuting us, the people who are talking down to us, you know, maybe a, maybe a landlord is being terrible to us, maybe a teacher, maybe a coworker, whatever. We still have calmness in Christ. So thank you for watching. I want to just pray over everyone right now dealing with anxiety, dealing with situations in our life or anything like that. I pray for the anointing on you. Jesus, thank you for bringing us here today. I pray for anyone watching this video that they may be anointed with your oil. May they find calmness and peace with everything that they've read. And they find calmness and peace in a relationship with you in a communion. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ on anyone watching this. And may they come closer to Christ. And may they find the inner peace that you have spoken of. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thank you for watching. Share this if you feel like it's on your heart. But question the relationship with Christ. Are things happening in your life that you don't know? You have the unknowns about? Give it to God. Talk to Him. Pray to Him. Because He's there. He's around us. And you can just talk to Him. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to whatever. Which is great. You need to. But to talk to God, you can talk to Him in your room. Jesus says later in one of the passages that the best way to talk to me is close the door by yourself and just pray. Invite him into your life, but just talk to him. If you're questioning, you don't know if he's real or not, that's fine. Just talk to him. And he is there and he loves you and he will answer. Anyone who calls on the name of Jesus Christ will be saved. So just call, talk to him. You have nothing to lose. And when you have a problem in your life, when there's an issue coming up, give it to Christ. For he bore our sins. He took on all of our sins. He took on all of our problems. So we can just talk to him. He already knows what's happening. For he knows when a sparrow falls. He has every hair on our head. So he knows your problems. But you just got to talk to him. Invite him into your life. and Invite him to the situation. You know, if here's the equation. You know, it's right here. Invite God into it. And let him work. Let him bring the peace into your life. And that's my message for today. Thank you for watching. I know I've said it like four times already, but, uh, you know, sometimes when you're in hotel rooms, you move around a lot, your brain's all fried up. So, peace. Jesus Christ loves you.